This is the sixth part in the reactive programming course on Dart and Flutter. In this video, we'll take a brief look at string controllers. They basically allow us to send data onto a stream and then the consumers of that stream can subscribe to it, obviously. This may make a little more sense once I show an example. So here we have a plain Dart app and let's see how to create a string controller. So here I'm declaring a variable of type stream controller. Actually, I typed that wrong. Controller. And it takes in one type parameter, and that's going to be the type of data that's going to be emitted from a stream. So let's just say string over here. And now we need to say the name of the variable. Let's just say controller. And now I need to import the Dart async library. And one way to create a string controller is just through the regular constructor. Right, and in order to access a stream in a certain controller, we just use controller.stream. And we can subscribe to it and all that nice stuff we saw previously. But when I use a controller in a class, I like to make that controller private and expose the stream itself through a getter. This may be useful if you don't want the consumers of the stream to be able to modify what's coming into it, or at least not modify directly what's coming into it. So let me go over here, copy this, and now we can just listen to the stream like anything else. We get data and we can just print the data. Previously I mentioned how the stream controllers allow us to send data onto a stream. And in order to do that we use syncs. Again, we access the sync same way as we access a stream through the controller.sync method and then we use the add method to send data to it. And we can just say, I don't know, some data. All right, now let's save this. And so here what we're doing is we're listening for changes in a stream and then we're sending some data to it. And when that data gets sent, it gets printed over here. So let me save this. Go to the console, clear the screen, and run this. And we get just what we expected. We get some data printed out. And what's really nice is that we can add, we can send data and we can subscribe to data anywhere. So we can say add and just go, I'm sorry, all right, just move this over here and just use the add function and it would work the same and we can also listen to data in any function in any class really doesn't matter as long as we are exposing our streams properly but what if we try to listen to streams more than one time in a little more complex app this would be a pretty common case we want some data to be updated in multiple widgets maybe we have a couple of lists of users in an app and we want all of them to be updated so what if we try to listen to it over here and just replace all the letter A's with letter B. I don't know. And now let's save this. And when I try to run this, we get an exception. It says bad state stream has already been listened to. Which means that by default we can only listen to one stream. But if we want to expose a stream and make it basically listenable multiple times, we will use the broadcast factory constructor and that should do the job. Let me now save this, open the console and start this and we get exactly what we expected. Here we get printed some data and here we have printed some and in place of A's we have B's. So yeah, that's it. All right, and that's pretty much it. In the next video, you'll finally see how you can apply all of these concepts in Flutter and you'll also get to see the full potential of a string controller.